He cares about his sleep. He'll take cold showers. At land, he was writing down notes on why he messed up. In the 1v for the dub. Oh, he oh, He does a lot of stretching, he does a lot of like reading on, you know, mental health, physical health. I think he just has an intrinsic pursuit of excellence. He truly wants to be the best. And so I think he's willing to do whatever it takes to prove that point. And Verhulst is going to call it, he beats one, Verhulst single-handedly knocks one! Can he get the double? Yes, he does! Ladies and gentlemen, here we go again! The Apex Legends Global Series Playoff is once again in beautiful London! I, mean, I came into Split 2, and the difference between that and Split 1, after TSM's win, it felt almost too good to be true that we would have such strong storylines heading into Split 2. If, like, can they really go back to back? Can they really do what they're known for doing again, a second time, a third time? So that thought stayed in the back of my mind that I feel like TSM are still here to play. I'm batting now, Logan. I'm not with you guys. Yes. So no, I'm gonna high, high right now. Bang is low, bang is low. They're all three there, they're, they're all three there. I think we nearly failed to make win and had a rough start, mainly because of us trying to swap our POI at the beginning of the split and then going back to our old POI. Valk was out of the meta because of the new evac towers. We ended up trying to play Cat and like we weren't doing too good with Cat. The team that went wall took our spot because we said we were going launch pad, but we changed it back to wall last second. There was a couple of factors that made it more difficult for sure. We were kind of forced into a corner of playing a certain way that we don't usually play. Since they nerfed Valk and Valk couldn't play Beacon anymore, we weren't able to rotate and get to zone quick enough. I had to play um, Catalyst because obviously both my teammates, they've been playing Valk and Seer. I didn't enjoy playing her. Um, I felt like I wasn't able to play aggressive enough. I wasn't being enabled as a player. So I was kind of playing Catalyst just so we could have zone knowledge. It was pretty hard for us, to be honest, like trying to figure out the sweet spot, like who's gonna take the hit. There was really no perfect comp at the time. There was definitely a moment where we were like, okay, this is, it, this could be unlikely. Having the first half of Pro League give us some pretty terrible results. Like at that point, we were definitely like pretty stressed out. Like that was definitely like the height of all the tension, so. It does suck to know or to hear your leader say like, yeah, like we're not making it. Like I understand how he is and he's, he usually he tends to have a negative mindset. I was able to bring it, the positivity up a little bit at least. And me and Evan still knew like we had a high chance to make it. You know, I even after like when we won, I, both my teammates had double digit kills and I had like five. Like I said, obviously I'm still eyes yelling and doing macro and you know, doing my part, but they did more than just what they were asked to do. They pulled me out the gutter and I'll start turning to, uh, you know, do it all together. I land. You bang up to me, bang up to me. You bang up to me, I don't know if you got like I'm jumping down to push him. Did you still in the water? No, you're, you're in a, I'm almost on my boat now. Okay. Well, Evan is the youngest of four of um, four boys, and he really grew up sort of in the shadow of watching all of their sporting events. He would have to go to their practices, um, and he would watch all of their games. He really enjoyed playing video games, and it was something that he and his three older brothers could do together, and even his father loved to play with him. I'd say Evan has a very quiet and kind of thoughtful personality, and always kind of sees things through a different lens than, than everybody else. Uh, you know, Evan is one of those guys that's selfless in, in, the, in the right ways. Evan, through his family, you, you see his brothers, his, his father, his mother. You could tell that he is a family first, he's a group first thinker, and he wants to do the best he can to better the situation of people around him. I'd say he's like very calculated. Calculated player. Very calculated. Extremely talented player. Two right, left side. Yeah, I'm gonna try and wall up. Okay, my daily routine can vary day to day. I don't have a set routine at all. I'll wake up, try and have breakfast, and then I will take a cold shower right after I eat breakfast, and then go to the gym. Maybe do like an hour of firing range before I start my stream just to get warmed up, and then rip like an eight hour stream. After stream's over, I'll usually just like 
take it easy for the rest of the day. If I'm really craving some Apex, I'll go and play off one, which does happen every now and then. All right, Chad, Raiden, Loki, Ross. I'll see you guys. Uh, actually, probably we're not streaming until land. And after land? Yeah, after land. You guys have to watch. Yeah, I won't have my own POV during land. You guys have to watch. Uh, LGS no, that's okay, chat. Like the whole thing with him taking notes, like that started way before he was even on a team. Like I was like, Evan, man, how you doing? He's like, oh, I'm all right. And he'd be taking notes on how to improve, like just as like by himself, no team at all. Cause he just really knew that like he had a shot at being really good and getting on a team. So that's something he's been doing for a while. I mean, one of the stories Hal said was, you know, at land, he was writing down notes on why he messed up and changing it literally the next game. And Hal was amazed that someone would even think to do that and take feedback so well. Evan is a good example of what it means to be a player with skill, but also take that skill in the right direction with constant adjustment to your own game. I play so much fire range. The first thing that inspired me to play in the fire range was one, it was Jen Burton, and I was like, okay, I wanna have an aim like this guy. What does he do every day? He plays in the firing range for like an hour or two, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna start doing that. Sometimes it can be more efficient than actually playing the game as far as like just training mechanics goes. You can play like one pub every like 15 minutes, and you might, you might spend like a third of that pub just running around the map doing absolutely nothing, like just trying to get to the next team. So the firing range has literally no downtime. You, you spawn in, grab a gun, grab ammo, and you can shoot for like as long as you want to. Evan just was grinding Catalyst really hard. He was playing solo queue ranked all the time, putting a ton of work in the new character to make sure he was ironing it out, becoming the best he could do with it. You know, he understands like, if we're gonna tell him he has to play Cat, then he'll be playing Cat all the time unless someone else takes Cat. He's not that type of person to be like, you know, I've played enough Catalyst, I'm pretty good at it, I'm just gonna take a break. You know, I'm not straight anymore. So he's, still, he's always still going at it. I feel like a lot of professional players get to that point where you know, they play a new character and they're like, okay, I'm done. And they just kind of think that they're, you know, they don't need to play anymore type of thing. Uh, maybe another player gets bored and they just like give up or they just don't put in that same effort, but Evan didn't care. Evan just basically grinded Solo Q ranked with her a bunch. And I just find the firing range like, it's almost like kind of relaxing, just like chilling the firing range. There's like zero distractions, just kind of think about the game. It's almost like meditation for Apex. scenario, but Verholst is built simply different. I am um, Lale Verholst. I'm Evan's mother. We live in Kansas City, Missouri. Evan was born in Florida, actually. We had moved to Florida for a year. Mother of four boys and married to my husband for 28 years. Mm -hmm. Like growing up, though, he always spent so much time playing video games. Like, that was his personality. When he's with, like, family, I'd say he's, like, a totally different person. Like, us brothers are together. You know, it's it's totally not the Evan you see, like, on stream. We're always, like, kind of going at each other. But out in public, yeah, he's, I'd say he's different. 
did I notice competitive drive in Evan from an early age? Probably not so much. I mean, I just know that he enjoyed playing with his brothers. He would tell me often that he thought one day he'd like to be a professional video gamer. You know, at that point, I really didn't know that that was such a thing. <laughs> Definitely as he got older, that desire never went away. Evan is an extremely talented player. The first time I saw him, I was casting an arena tournament with him, and I thought he was cheating. Uh, if you ever find the clip, you'll see me comment and stop because my first thought is to say that looks like aimbot. We knew he was a talent, but talent it gets you only so far and it's about how you take it. And that's where Verhulst to me was special, that he would take his talent and put as much hard work in as someone who w wasn't talented. That was what caught my eye about Evan in the first place. I think independence is very important to Evan. Again, being the youngest of four and always sort of being in his bro older brother's shadows. They were very competitive, I mean, especially when it came to academics. Independence for Evan has been something that he hasn't yet had the ability to really blossom in the, with his brothers around all the time. So his going to Austin has really allowed him to shine all on his own. He's always said that he likes to be a solo player, so he doesn't like to like team as much. I think it does mean uh, a lot of individuality because he's also getting older and like at that age where he has a, a lot more freedom in what he wants to do, so. TSM on your screen right now because they're in a fight inside of Geyser and Reps is going to start shredding away. Save. Dark Zero go down. Six of the eight teams are still outside of the circle at the moment, all trying to force their way in. Several downs here for TSM to try and finish. Whilst you're taking this damage, you've got to be thinking about what position you're going to take as Realize will fall. Moist also goes down. TSM, they forced up and they're still going. We just like run into all the big names you know, or just like run into random teams. They're just scared of us, huh? Yeah. Oh, they're scared of you. They're scared of Big E. I mean, the only team that's gone back to back is Dark Zero and TSM. And the fact that TSM had done it so long ago, we had started calling Dark Zero the modern kings of land. And I know TSM didn't like that. And in fact, that's what Split One Playoffs was about getting back to the top and saying, we are not to be challenged. Did you forget our name? Well, let us remind you. Split two, they have a chance to now tie and silence anybody who thinks Dark Zero still are land champions. Uh, so it's a hefty title to defend. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is now for your ALGS Match Point Finals. London, are you ready? put down in front of them. That's gonna be TSM looking for the opportunity to contest LG. They already get the first knock right here. Oxygen now playing a lot more passive, putting themselves in a risky situation. They're not gonna get involved here, but TSM versus LG will. Nice defensive gravity lift there, I believe. Is that that's blocking TSM out from going in, but he doesn't need it. The horse got way too much damage on the Prowler. Welcome Big E, coming out here doing Big E things. Big E the left, Big E Get the soul on me, the soul on me, soul on me! Don't worry that, don't that. The rest of them here. I killed the rest of them already. I killed one, I killed one, I killed one already. It's 2v3v2. Play side, play side. Left, left, left. In this, in this, in this. I'm going to let him one. Top one. Nice! Surely they clean this one up. Surely they get it done. Alliance eliminated. But here comes the third. 
party. Fnatic will clean up TSM, but TSM have done enough. They are on match point and they will have the chance to win here on Sunday in the next match. And Dark Zero still have to fight this two versus three. Zero, barely oh. any HP to play with as well. Vayne is going to be the man who gets it. Auction and Esports who just got onto match point will take out Dark Zero. They will not win it here. They're, yeah, they're dying, they're dying. Come up here, come up, follow Coming me, follow up. me. Leading that. Scanning that, scanning that. Don't be lost, stopping. Nice, swap, 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 swap. They might take a few, they might take a few. I'm batting right now, batting right now, batting right now. Yep. It's 5 with 12, guys. I got a loot. I have nothing. Yeah, we have nothing. Now, TSM will be forced off a fight, and they might get pushed here because there will be a grab lift behind them. They're going to get killed behind, and it's Exit! It's Exit! They take out TSM! That was definitely our best shot to win. And teams, teams just saw that we were on match point and they just, they kind of like, they knew the objective. It's like, you see a team on match point, you don't care about anybody else around you. You just focus that team. But also, like, I, don't, I don't feel too bad about it, like having made the mistake. Like, we should have been watching for teams to queue up on us. That's that like, like the only way we lose. Even if we had been watching Xset queue up on us, I think we still might have lost because FaZe queued up right behind them. So we would have had to kill six people in a span of about 10 seconds. So. Pioneers make their rotate, but there's action elsewhere and it involves TSM. Ascend have been eliminated. They've done job number one, but now Reps and Imperial Hell have to do it to keep their chances of winning in this game alive. 100 Thieves are on one side, Gambariot is out on the other side. TSM are getting sandwiched, and Reps is the last remaining player. Here. And 100 Thieves are doing so much damage from the high ground. Can Reps find the time? No! TSM full! 100 Thieves out. Fnatic out. Vayne. He's out as well, but what an effort. That's Dark Zero now moving. Dark Zero up to gaming and NRG. But Dark Zero are losing. They're taking damage, but no. Here comes Zero. Zero. The captain. The IG out to send it back down. One of the things I really admire Verholst about is his not only his age, but also the stance at his age that he's taking to be more of a positive role model in gaming. A lot of gamers don't have this the sensibility to promote health, to promote mental health, to promote you know physical health, kindness, positivity. We need more of that, especially if gaming is going to go more mainstream. For me, Verholst is a great up and coming member uh, in the esports scene, but also just in our Apex community, really proud of the way that he usually takes the higher road and takes care of himself as a great example for a lot of young players who look up to him. I think, I think it's just like generally just trying to be like the best person I can be. I just want to be really good at whatever I do, no matter what it is. There's certain things that you can do, like going to the gym and reading books, that'll just make you good at pretty much anything you do, like whether that be any other endeavor I have in my life, these things will like carry through from Apex. Once I get back from LAN, just gonna go home, definitely taking a few days off, gonna start hitting the gym again, gonna start streaming eight hours a day again, playing scrims every day, trying to be as healthy as possible, and just getting myself mentally and physically prepared for champs. Thank you. 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 Thank you.